not that I say it often, but today is a very interesting day for me because I get to work at a car rental shop here in Japan for one day. Oh, and that's the owner, by the way. He's currently washing the cars. Your clothes are formal, tell me, be acting like you don't recall and ain't impressing me. Didn't come to see your friends, I know you. This is James. He's the owner of NRT Rent a Car here in Japan, right next to Narita Airport. Just like me, he's also from Hong Kong, but he's been in Japan on and off for the past 11 years. For the most part, he runs everything himself from buying new cars to maintaining the cars to picking up new customers from the airport. And he has the friendliest smile I've ever seen on any human being. Since I love traveling to Japan and ever since I got my international driver's license, I've been a big advocate of renting a car and visiting places that are as remote as possible. I always feel like Japan is more than just Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto. And with a car, you can visit some incredible places like this. I don't know what I did to highlight this To be left in the cold all this time So pissed on my head so dumb When my heart felt numb I don't go nowhere, I don't have no fun Funny thing is, I was the one who reached out to James in the first place. With a very sincere email attached with my portfolio and work, I told him I was very curious to see how he runs his car rental company and would love to spend a day or two working with him. And thus, here I am now. So James has just finished washing the car and now he's doing the interior, so like vacuuming and all that. In the meantime, I might as well show you his fleet of his operation. As you can see, he has a very interesting fleet of cars. So here you would see he has a FK8 Type R for rent. And on the back there, you would see there is an S2000 and a GDB. And there is a Honda DC5 at the back. So mainly, I would say his operation focuses on renting out JDM cars, which is also my favorite. So here we have a little cubicle, which is his office for him and one of his co-workers. Unfortunately, his co-worker isn't here today. So just for today, he is here working alone with me, basically. Now, James is over there prepping the GR86. I think he's removing the spacer in the wheels because of an event tomorrow. And later on, he needs to go to the airport to pick two to three guests up because he has a couple of cars that are renting out from today. Uh -huh. <laughs> this afternoon might not look like much, but when I was a kid, my dad used to service his own car as well, changing out the engine oil, making sure the transmission is A-OK, -okay, even though I don't really understand anything at the time. So seeing James putting work into his cars whilst explaining every single process, it genuinely brought back a lot of childhood memories for me. <laughs> but then we realized we haven't had lunch yet. We're gonna go out and grab a very late lunch. It's already it's already three. Oh he's gonna drive his GDB. We're gonna go and have a late lunch. Oh see you see you. Yeah, we from the north, baby, the cold made me I know you can't get enough of me, but not lately Took you down inside my old hand So we just finished lunch When I say lunch, it's already 4pm So it's more like tea Now James will move two of his cars up to the loader over there Because he has to 
move the cars to another place tomorrow. And now my job is to sort of film because that's my job. That's the only job that I can handle for now. Because if I touch any of his cars, I think it's gonna break very soon. So now my heart's in my body bag. I'm in the mood to go and hurt somebody. Yeah, baby, you know I'm only the one. Then tell you move along. I don't wanna stay too long. So as you can see, James has picked up his customer. His customer is about to pick up the FK8. He drives to the airport and picks up his customers with this Toyota Alpha right here. I think it's a very nice service for them to provide because if you come directly to Narita Airport, it's only a five minute drive from here to the airport. So if you want to rent a car, this is a pretty decent option in my humble opinion. For the most part, James is doing everything on his own. He said he's used to working alone for the past 11 years, ever since he moved to Japan. He is from Hong Kong, and it's nice to see someone who can thrive while moving to a new country. So I'm basically filling in for his absent coworker, but he told me to just take it easy and film whatever I need. But I also want to help out as much as I can without causing any trouble on his end. I never thought spending a day at a car rental shop could be this much fun. The smell of gasoline is... <laughs> I have huge respect towards James's work ethic, his happy-go-lucky attitude, and even after a whole day of work, his smile never left his face. I don't know when I will revisit Japan, but one thing is for sure, I will definitely visit James and his rental car shop again. Before the end of the video and before I take that car out for a spin, I do want to thank Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. If you don't know what Epidemic Sound is, you should. Epidemic Sound is a music library designed for content creators, especially for creators like me suffering from the failure. The copyright. Huh. Music has always been the backbone of my videos. They help set the pacing, mood, and general vibe of a video. Only editors will understand this, but there's no better feeling than finding the right music for the right video. It's always crazy. With over 40,000 soundtracks and 90,000 sound effects all labeled, organized, and categorized, you can be sure to find the right music faster than my mum's slipper with draw speed. With features to match your videos to certain music and being able to download different stems of the music, I think Epidemic Sound is the perfect music library for any aspiring creators out there. Anyone can sign up using the link in the description. I know, new desk, new setup, new room, new video coming soon. But until then, have a beautiful, beautiful day wherever you are and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye.